Hi guys, Nathan here from the ebook reader blog. For this video, I'm gonna walk through the uh, features available for PDF files on Onyx's books devices. So I've got the Books Go 10.3 right here, but it's pretty much the same story on any of their eNotes. Um, the smaller models have the same sort of app, but I don't think they have the split screen stuff or you know, obviously the, the stylus support for like on the Books Go 7, but uh, let's go ahead and talk about some of the features available. So Books as devices, uh, I've long thought they're the best uh, for PDFs. They've got a whole bunch of different features here. So you got different cropping modes, different zooming modes. So a lot of e-readers are fairly limited when it comes to you know getting rid of the margins, but Books devices offer some different options. Uh, generally, the just the, uh, the crop to fit to screen option works the best, um, but you have some more fine control over it as well. You can like set up a custom crop zone. Uh, another thing that you can do here is you can um, darken the text on your PDF. So a lot of times PDFs will have kind of faint text. You can use the bold option to get it really bold if you want to just kind of get a midway setting to darken the text a little bit, make it easier to read, kind of boost the contrast a little bit. So that does work pretty well. Um, sort of depends on your PDF, how big the margins are. Some of them have really big margins like this particular PDF. Um, fitting to screen, you still have a decent amount of margins, but you could fill the screen if you wanted to use the custom cropping. Another thing you can do is you can set it up to scroll down the PDF or you can have it set to just page forward one page at a time. Another thing you can do is you can uh, set it up to view two pages at once. So it'll switch over to landscape mode if you wanted to view like an actual book type layout. So you can have two pages uh, side by side like this. This is uh, going to be like having two six inch devices next to each other basically. Um, so you've got split screen as well. I'll show that a bit later. Um, so some of the other stuff we've got in here is just your different cropping and your different text enhancement stuff. But um, another thing you can do is use the custom cropping, like I was saying earlier. So you could set it up to, you know, show the whole page. Um, you'd have to cut off like the bottom if you wanted to fit like side to side. Uh, but you know, if you wanted to, you know, fit the full page, you can do it like this. So you have all these on-screen toolbars. You can hide these if you want. Um, so you can uh, write on the screen. It's sort of like the built-in note app I showed in the review. You have all the different pens, all the different, uh, you know, have markers and pencils and stuff like that. You can switch to writing on the screen. Then all your on-screen notes, you can export this stuff too. It'll get saved in the PDF file. Um, so as you can see right here, we did the custom cropping. So then it won't let you write on the margin because we uh, cropped out the margin. Um, so if you wanted to use like the different margin settings, reset it, use the fit to screen, it will keep those side margins so that you can actually write on the side now. So it just sort of depends on how you use the cropping, if that will be uh, an option or not being able to write on the margins. It depends on how much you crop out of the margins. There are some different settings up here on the toolbar as well. So you got some different gesture settings. You can turn on and off pinch zooming and gestures, stuff like that. And you got the AI for like uh, shape perfection and uh, scribbling erase. So like if you just scribble over something, you can erase it that way quickly without having to use the erase function. So there's some different stuff on here and you can also customize this toolbar set it up exactly how you want it there's some different icons and settings you can set up on here so there's a lot of different things a lot of different customization options with onyx's apps so you can do a lot of different things here to make it quicker and easier and you've also got that um, you know navigation ball down on the right corner you can set up different things for that as well so you got the table of contents for navigating it opens up this window you can go full screen as well it also supports nested table of contents uh, and then at the top you see these different uh, icons here you got bookmarks and then it'll show your different notes as well so anytime you write on the screen or you know take notes or anything like that it'll show up here and you can quickly jump to that and you can do your exporting option down here as well you do have to select it first uh, and then you have the option to export it as a PNG or a PDF. One thing I forgot to show in the video is you can add highlights as well. So there are different highlight settings and there's also underlining and a dotted line, like a squiggly line. So there are different options for that as well. Uh, you got some different navigation options down here. It also supports text to speech. You can do auto page turn, set it to page turn by certain times. You can view multiple pages at once if you wanted to scan through your PDF looking for something. You also have the option to add blank pages to PDFs. So that's not something you see on very many devices. If you want to have a note page stuck in between pages in your PDF, you can do that. Have a full page of notes, make it easier to work uh, with note taking in PDF. So that's a pretty cool feature to have. Um, another thing you can do, so we got the boldness settings here. We've got the 
Uh, I'll go back to this a bit, the navigation options. So let's talk about the split screen type of stuff here. So earlier I showed the same PDF. You can have two pages open at once. You can also have two separate uh, PDFs open at once or two separate documents. So you can have, you know, one PDF on one side, different PDF on the other side. You can have two documents open at once. You can resize the window as well. So like I said, this isn't available on the smaller devices. Like I have the books go seven and it doesn't have the split screen options. Uh, but you have some other options in here as well. So you can have, uh, your PDF open next to a notebook. So you can have all the notebook features in here, all your different templates and all your different settings. So you can have your note page open next to your PDF to take notes. So if you didn't want to insert, uh, pages into your PDF, for example, maybe you could have a whole separate notebook for it. So that's a pretty cool feature uh, using split screen. Uh, you also have the option to have a typed note open. So if you wanted to use a keyboard or you can use Bluetooth keyboards or uh, something like that, you can have a typed next, uh, type text uh, type of notepad open next to your PDF and you can also write on your PDF while you're doing this So you have two different options for taking notes So that's pretty cool as far as our split-screen settings go so not very many devices offer stuff like that another cool thing with Onyx's uh, Software here is you can write using the stylus and it'll convert it to type text uh, and it's not just for this notepad I mean you can use that anywhere that the uh yeah, you can use the keyboard, the on-screen keyboard. So you can also use that in the Note app if you wanted to just convert it after you've written. So some cool different features with Onyx's devices. Um, yeah, so another thing you can do here is you can go into the translate option. So you can uh, translate the page next to it. If you had some like foreign language PDFs and you have different languages you can switch to here. Uh, so yeah, that's another feature you've got with the split screen modes, being able to translate. I uh, haven't used this much myself, but you can definitely use that as an option. Another one on here is the AI read. I've never actually used this. Don't know exactly what it does, um, but it's another option as well. So so uh, here's another handy feature that's not available on most devices. Uh, you can set up the navigation modes in different ways. So you got comic mode and article mode. So if you have a multi-column PDF, you can set this up to follow the columns. It can be multiple columns or just two columns. Then you can like customize the uh, viewing zones and like you can see the numbers that'll be where a page is forward so it'll go from top to bottom using this particular one or if with this one it can go from you know top left to top right so you have all these different uh, directions you can set up down here and all these different column modes so if you have a multi-column pdfs you can set up these quadrants to follow the columns exactly how you need it to so yeah that's kind of a cool feature with onyx's devices you don't see on other devices the ability to follow different uh you know columns you also have the ability to uh use text reflow for PDFs. There's also OCR. So different things you can do with that. So you can lay out your PDF more like an ebook that you can uh, resize the font size. Uh, so it's going to depend on the PDF, how well this is going to work. Some of them work better than others. If it has a lot of tables and complicated formatting, it's probably not going to work very well. But if it's just a basic text-based PDF, it can work well for that just to resize the text, make everything fit a little bit better. So some of the other features up here, you do have tabbed browsing as well. It'll load a little bit faster once these are loaded. They aren't loaded right now. But yeah, you can have your uh, different tabs along the top so you can jump back and forth between PDFs easily. Um, you've also got different syncing options. You can use the pinch zooming and the scrolling. The, uh, the panning doesn't work great for some reason, but... Uh, the uh, pinch zooming does work pretty well. So that's been a look at all the main features available for PDF files with Onyx's NeoReader app. I did forget to show some things, like if you hold down on a word, it'll bring up the dictionary window and you can uh, run searches online from there as well. You can also run searches in your app or in your PDF. Uh, so you know the main features that are typically available with these type of devices and you've got your different syncing and sharing options on here. So you've got the note taking. So a lot of cool features with the uh, Books app. I do think it's the best as far as PDF goes. Um, just the amount of features and settings and the cropping actually works well instead of like resetting with like each page turn like some devices do. Definitely has a lot more going for it when it comes to PDF files than something like the Kindle Scribe, which is a lot more basic. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video right here. Check out the full review, the Books Go 10 on the eBook Reader YouTube channel. I'll also be posting some additional reviews as well. So thank you guys for watching. Have a good day. Bye.